Hey what's up guys welcome to Daisy Coder. In this video we are going to learn how to customize a Google Chrome theme. So before we get started we will navigate to the folder where the themes will get installed. So open your my computer or this PC and then your C drive and look for users and then your name and then search for app data it is generally hidden you can just unhide it from the folder options in control panel app data and then local and then search for google and then chrome user data default and then extensions so here we get all these extension and themes whatever we have installed in our google chrome just tap on this date modified so that we will get to know which is the latest one okay so now go to chrome and then search for themes tap on this settings and then again settings we have a category called appearance here we get the option of themes to open google chrome web store tap on it so here we have all those themes which are hosted in this google chrome website let's select any one of them i'm going to choose the first one and we have the option called add to chrome so just tap on it add to chrome it will check all those settings and then it's done as you can see the theme has been applied it has a background and all those things so let's get started and let's customize this theme so we will be navigating to the folder where it is installed then the folder the extension folder which we had opened earlier and we will check for the latest one that is this one 1417 it's now 1420 so it is the latest one and just open that so here you will get metadata and then the images what they have used and then the pack the theme pack and then the manifest file that is a json file so we are going to change anything in this json file and that will reflect in our theme so we will just create a new folder and we'll customize it so let's create a new folder new and then the folder and name it as customize whatever name you can give customize theme and then search for that folder and copy images and manifest file here to the new folder yep now we have the images and the json file so in this json file you can see all those alignments and the color rgb and then the images what we have here the path of images and all those attributes are mentioned here you can just play with it you can just customize whatever you want to do so let's try with uh, image change what we have in the image do we have a png or jpg we have a jpg file and this one again a jpg file so let's check if we have any jpg file here uh -huh. yep i think it is jpg yep it is jpg and then i'm going to just replace this with my photo so just change this name and just rename this picture that's it now i have changed it and then uh, we are not going to change anything in json because the file name is same and we can change some more files also but let's try with this one 
So we are done with customization at this part. Now just open Google Chrome and then again go to settings and then okay you can directly go to extension yep directly go to more tools and extension so just make sure the developer mode is on otherwise you won't get the options at the left side that is load unpacked pack extension and update so first we are going to load the unpacked theme which we have created just now just click on it and then search for the folder which, which we have created that was customized theme just select that folder and select that folder and then tap on select folder so it has not prompt for any error let's check the folder now go to customize theme and here it is you can see it is now packed the pak the pak file is now generated let's install this in our chrome and let's tap on pack extension now and this browse to that folder again desktop and that folder customize theme select folder and tap on pack extension so you can see two files has been created the extension file that is crx and the key file just make sure that keep your key file in a safe place you will need it to create new version of your extension so just make sure the pem file that is the key file should be there always otherwise you might end up with a mess okay so we are done with packing the extension now we are going to install that extension so we have this extension on the key file just move this to that folder select it and then move it to customize theme and we are going to just install this theme so when we click on this customize theme we will get a prompt call continue or discard tap on continue it will add and then it will prompt for add theme tap on it so as you can see it has prompt install theme and the theme name now open a new tab yep the theme has been applied we have changed the background color of this theme likewise you can just change the theme name or any other colors or background what you may want to change and it will be applied likewise so the theme is now set now if you want to change the theme or make any changes you can just change the json files attributes or if you want to reset the theme to the default just go to your settings you can directly tap on it and click on settings and you will get an option called appearance and there will be a button named reset to default so if you tap on it it will be the default theme now as you can see the background is now gone all those themes which we have applied is now gone so it is the default setting which we have set now thanks for watching this video please do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel desi coder